Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you the Industrial Revolution Freebie Pack. Freebie Pack is a collection of free, fun, and useful plugins. Create powerful 3D special effects, use a dramatic rack focus, and even get a live input from your camera on your timeline. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but these effects work in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. The first thing I'd like to show you is called World. World is a generator, so you can find it by clicking the Generators tab on the viewer and choosing Industrial Revolution. Immediately, you'll see a very cool virtual Earth spinning in space. Let's take a look at the parameters. Going through the presets will show us some of the different options and features. Earth at different angles, complete with sunlight, clouds, and even the electric lights of countries as they pass into the night. I like this preset called America Sleeps, and I'd like to tweak the parameters. As you can see, I have complete control over the Earth's diameter, speed of rotation, and start position. I can turn clouds, land, and lights on and off with these checkboxes. The Sun menu allows control over the lighting effect of the virtual sun color, position, and diffusion. I'm going to go to the global position menu and animate the different 3D axes to do a small zoom away from the Earth. I'll be sure to right click on the endpoints of the animation and choose smooth so we ease out, adding some realism. For another realistic touch on the motion tab, I'll turn on motion blur. Final Cut's default settings are severe. I like to back them down to about 50% blur with eight samples. I'm going to composite this on top of a star field image for added realism. Next, let's use this animation to create an interesting opening for a news program and use another effect from the freebie pack called Rack Focus. I'll nest my world animation and star field into a sequence. Rack Focus is in effects Industrial Revolution. I'll drop the Rack Focus effect right on the nested sequence, just as if it was a regular clip. I can access the effect's parameters by option-clicking the sequence. Rack Focus does what it says. It creates a change of focus between two elements. If I move the progress bar from 0 to 1, you'll see my Earth go out of focus and a placeholder come into focus. I have a text element I created in motion that I'll drop in this input B image well. Now you'll see that I have complete control over the position, blur amount, and even opacity of both of the elements. I'll animate the text to come into frame and then execute the rack focus. Here's my finished sequence. Next, I'd like to show you Multispace. Multispace is an effects industrial revolution. I'll drop it on my clip on the timeline. Immediately, you'll see an input B visual on screen. I'll go to the parameters and drop another clip in the input B image well and show you what this effect can do. As I go through the presets, you can see that Multispace allows you to easily manipulate two video clips or images in 3D space. I like this preset called 3D Picture in Picture Right Soft Edge. I'll tweak some of the parameters and add some motion. You have complete control over the opacity and scale of each of the two inputs, plus some nice added features like blending and rounded edges. Under the Globals menu, you have control over the position, angle, and rotation origin on the X, Y, and Z axes. I'll animate the angle X and Y settings to give us a nice 3D effect. To complete this effect, I'll move the clip up a track and composite it onto a nice background created in the NI generator banding free gradient.
I'll add a subtle drop shadow and motion blur from the Motion tab to add to the realism of our 3D animation. Next, I'd like to show you the Opposites effect. I'll drop it on another clip. Just like in Multispace, you'll see an Input B visual on screen. I'll go to the parameters and drop another clip in the Input B image well and show you what this effect can do. I'll choose the preset Scale Rounded Cards. If I start pushing and pulling the parameters, you'll see that Opposites is aptly named. Making an adjustment to input A does the opposite to input B. This allows lots of creative possibilities. Additionally, I have individual control over each element's scale and opacity. I'll animate some of these parameters to get an effect I'd like. To complete this effect, I'll move the clip up a track and composite it on top of another gradient background. I'll add a subtle drop shadow and motion blur from the Motion tab to add to this animation's realism. The last effect in Freebie Pack is a very cool generator called EyeSight Live. It gives you a live feed from your EyeSight camera, or in my case, a DV camera attached via FireWire. This generator is useful if you need to quickly use the color picker on an object you have in the real world. So there you have all the great plugins in Freebie Pack from Industrial Revolution. And yes, you guessed it, they are absolutely free. Industrial Revolution Freebie Pack can be downloaded for free from noiseindustries.com. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.